hello and welcome guys again with my another video so we are actually working on you know learning power bi from the basics so i am the mk data analyst it's my nickname so i will you know uh discuss today about how we can create a final chart and how we can you know format it in using power bi so this is my power bi interface as you know but if you are a new user so i can explain that this is a report view where you can you know uh, design your report and when we click over here this is your basically data view and you can see the data set that you you know imported if i open this column so these are my data sets so and this is model view when we use model view uh, we'll discuss in you know uh, coming future uh, when we want to join multiple tables so we will design you know creating a relationship over here but because we have just single table right now so there is no need for modeling of tables so let's go back to the report view okay so as you can see on my screen i explained all these three tabs but what we have here is our data pen our visualization pen and our filter pen so what we're going to use today our data pane and our visualization pen so if i click on this my superstore data which i already imported on you know 3 2023 so let's expand it over here and you see there are number of columns we had uh, like see like category cities customer data customer data. so i just want to create a visualization using these data columns so to get a good one is so as you can see in the third row second column sorry in the third column second row we have a little icon which is you know shows like spheres and it, it, it is basically a funnel and when i click on it it will just show up on the screen so here it is so i just want to make it a little bigger so i can explain it better so as you can see this is basically fun funnel is what funnel is like you know uh, from you know coming down the stairs or uh, sometime you maybe you heard about the conversion funnels um, how the user enter in your website and is it they convert is it they buy something from your website so the number is gonna be the smaller you know when you go stage by stage so this is basically shows the stages if you have any data which have like stages one two three four or max so you can you know create a beautiful visualization using funnel chart so okay so let's see let's start with taking our columns and what i want to know about my business about this data i just want to know how my categories are performing so let's see uh, where the category is column and i want to see the sales of each category because it's it's having a steps so it can tell me which category uh, is performing better and where i need to work more so uh, let's take uh, the category column yeah here it is and i go into the category so it's title it's category as well and you can put the values over here so the category is there and what the value what i want to know i can you know in the profit or i can okay so i just uh, i think there is no profit yeah there is profit as well but i want to check and see how the profit is performing so as you can see it shows me there is three categories like technology office supplies and furniture and let's see this is my funnel for the profit but what i want to see it is this i want to create another funnel like like click over there so it's give me another funnel and where what i want to see i want to see category and this is a profit funnel so you can see some profit bar category but what i want to see over here is my sales yes so now you can see my both of the funnels which is 100 percent and which is you know so technology is having more profit though so it's having a good sales office supplies on the second but sales in the sales the furniture 
it's quite doing better and the furniture profit is less but its sales is more office supply sales is on the second one but its profit is a little lower in all three categories so as you can see and when i hover on it so it will show you their category technology their sum of profit and their personal first it's it's uh you can see the person of the previous it's 84.21 of the total 100 percent profit from 100 percent it's a uh, area which covers 84 percent and this is the area which covered 50 percent from the previous okay so now you can see here the technology which is 100 percent in the sales which is 88 percent from the previous one and here it is 96 percent from the previous one so the funnel is basically shows your data in you know stages you can see the stages and we can you know uh, play around with another, another stage like uh, uh, we want to check in which category we have more orders so uh, let's say I want to know which uh, which category may have more orders so you can see it's completely uh, you know in worse like office supplies is having more orders which is uh, 6026 orders uh, my my you know another category furniture which is having 2000 orders my technology is having 18000 orders but what you see my profit in the technology category is far good so with the less order i can earn more profit i can do more sales in the technology so you can take this insight from the specializations okay so what what we have over here okay so this is the number of orders and this is profit by three weeks. so you can see a complete you know shift in both of so what we have further if i want to you know uh, let's see let's let's cross it and let's just put the sales again over here so this is the profit and the sales comparison uh, in a funnel we have three categories or we can break it down you know using uh, subcategories like if i took the subcategories it will show you like this and i think that is more beautiful if i click my sales technology where i'm more profiting so i can check out my which subcategory is performing best like my phones is performing the machine my accessories my copiers the machines what if i click on my office supplies so my storage my binders and my appliances so there are so many and now you can see when i click on office supplies it will give the further subcategories in the office supplies which is doing good so you know if I click on the technology bag, then my phone is performing much, much better rather than other machines, other than smaller accessories. So you can see, okay, wow, the technology is, the phone is great. If I see what in the furniture category, which subcategory is good for me, where I need to, you know, drive my business more, where I put my uh, money more. So there is a product which is cheer, which is table, which is less, but cheer is more, and then you have the bookcases you are furnishing so as i can see if i click again this technology it will tell me which category in which profited category which category sales can affect more me for me in future so i think this is a good, good visualization so let's see uh it's if I click on this, it's 100%, it's 99%, 68% storage. So here is some formatting regarding my visualizations where I can change the color of the visualization. So if I want to change this, so it's going to change the right. Or if I want you know, sharper color or some better color. So, uh, a nice color would be, I think, this. Yeah, 
so now make a good you know combination so you can change your color from here as well okay so you can change all the categories colors day by day like this you can change this by another color you know you can you can make it more beautified so this is what you want to play with the color okay when i click on the data labels of course data labels is already on and you can see all the labels 1.45 k is already on and uh, you can click on the person you can click data person of first uh, you can choose your option from here so my data label is on okay so what my category label so i want to change my category label in this color so it's you know it's color is going to change and what if i want to you know this color but i think it's not look much for me black is perfect for that for any particular for something okay so these are some basic okay so this is a conversion rate you can see when i click on this how much you know the conversion rate 100 percent 0 percent 41.94 percent so this is basically the value of the conversion rate. and if i want to make it more you know play around with their further properties like how much paddings you give so, so you can see it start going nose and back start getting smaller so so this is uh, the lot expect ratio. So you can explore further their sizing, their positioning, their padding. The padding is what, like you know, from the borders, how many distance you want. Like from there, how many distance you want from up, how many distance you want. So right, and of course from down. How much? So this is basically padding. It's basically a spacing. All the four sides. So as you can see, there is a space here. There is a space here. There is a space here, and there is a space. Here. So this is basically padding. There is also advanced option. We will explore in some of my advanced tutorial in Power BI. And let's sketch it back. So these are my visualization for today. You can see the what's the category funnel and it will show you further categorized into another funnel case so you can check which category is good for you right okay so i think that's it for today uh, that looks great and you can make it more good with your creative skills